I expect to um, be able to formulate um, a new uh, set of uh, ways of working in order to get uh, from vision to implementation of this vision, since I think it's um, critically important to uh, um, put forward uh, change and uh, I think um, our traditional planning skills are lacking in almost all aspects in order to do that. At the same time I think it's uh, a responsibility as people trained to think about the future and also uh, creating ideas for the future to uh, be self-critical and um, try to come up with other kinds of solutions that could work. Therefore the international aspect is very important. Uh, we would like to open up the debate about how to cope with the future uh, and um, I think uh, this event uh, could help uh, in that respect. At what uh, dimension should you look at this? At a global phenomenon? Uh, uh, in essence, yes. Um, but there is a certain shared culture in, uh, in uh, European and maybe even more precisely Northwest European scale that we could use as a platform of uh, um, pinpointing that change and, uh, and, uh, and finding new uh, ways of dealing with that that could be beneficial on, uh, on an international stage as well. So I think we should be open in this debate, an uh, open international debate, uh, while at the same time understanding the limitations of uh, being able to understand each other uh, productively. Um, so there are limitations to that definitely. At the same time I realize that we should um, literally also maybe try to engage with a, with a new uh, generation and that maybe is even more important than this uh, international boundaries, is the intergenerational boundaries that we need to uh, uh, be able to uh, cope with. And I think this afternoon gave a nice examples of that as well. Uh, so, um, yeah, we have to be uh, open and self-critical.